Hey guys, welcome to EduTap. So today we have brought for you a very important report called as Global Nutrition Report. Now this report as you know would be covered through five MCQs. You will also be given with the solutions and uh, this particular report as well as this series is going to be useful for RBI Grade B, NABAD Grade A and the SEBI examination of Grade A. Telling you about uh, the various courses which are being offered by us, you can just have a look on the screen and uh, about the relevance of this particular series called as 5 MCQs a day, it would be important for phase 2 of SEBI and RBI both and phase 1 and phase 2 of NABAD. Okay. So here you can see our previous results since we have been working in this field from quite some time now. So you can see that uh, in RBI grade B 2017, 27 of our students were there in the final list. Then in uh, NABAD grade day of 2018, 26 seats were taken by our students out of the 46 total seats. And uh, in the RBI grade B 2018, till now the result for phase 2 has been announced and 280 selections have been made. And here also we are expecting a great result in the final result. So coming back to the topic of the day, it is Global Nutrition Report 2018. See, this report was actually uh, uh, has been launched recently in the month of November, the end of November, and uh, we are going to cover this report now. If you know the answers, please do let us know about your score. Mark the uh, mark the option, and at the end you will be given with the correct answers. And if you do not know the answer, you will be provided with the solutions, which we are going to th uh, discuss in this particular video. So uh, let us just start then. So question number one from the Global Nutrition Report is Global Nutrition Report is the foremost publication on the status of malnutrition around the world. The report for the year 2018 has been prepared by which of the following. So uh, you have to know this is see a typical question. It is asked in the examination various reports indexes are released by whom it is asked. So the uh, options are is it uh, Development initiatives, IFPRI, WHO, UNICEF or do you think that all of the above have come together for this global nutrition report? So give yourself 10 seconds and uh, try to identify the correct option. And yes, our correct answer to the question is development initiatives. See, let me just tell you that this global nutrition report is actually about what and then we'll move on to the institute which has released it. So this uh, 2018 report is actually reviewing the existing processes and uh, the it is highlighting the progress in the uh, combating of malnutrition. It is also identifying the challenges which are presently there and proposes way to resolve them. So you have to keep in mind that the 2018 Global Nutrition Report has its focus on the malnutrition. So actually this report was uh, conceived at the summit called as the Nutrition for Growth Initiative Summit. It was uh, held in 2013 and at that summit it was decided that uh, a kind of report called as Nutrition Report should be launched and in the following year of 2014 this report was launched for the very first time. Now see. Uh, there is this particular uh, organized structure which manages this report. So uh, this report is actually called as a multi-stakeholder initiative. It's not the initiative by a single body. So, um, but you will understand how the questions answer is global initiative through this. Okay. So see this multi-stakeholder initiative has basically three organizations under it. So first is the the three subset organizations. So first one is the stakeholder group, then independent experts group and finally the report secretariat. So these are the three which are actually coming together for this report. And uh, uh, this IEG actually that is the independent experts group has the world leading academics, researchers, government representatives. They come together and research and then analyze and uh, collect the various data. Then come to the uh, stakeholder group. So again, the stakeholder group is drawn from the government, then the donor, civil society, as well as the private organization, and they provide the leadership to the report. So they are the kind of stakeholders in this report. That means they are responsible for this report. And then finally, the third thing is the report secretariat. So um, 
the secretariat has to support the uh, researches and the analysis which are done by the experts group and finally the coordination is also done by the same report secretariat so also the dissemination of the report and the media of uh, uh, related to this report is also handled by report secretariat so until now till 2017 this uh, report secretariat was with ifpra uh, so but now from 2018 to 2021 the development initiatives has been given this role so uh, this is the logo of the development initiatives so communication dissemination and the coordination of the various functioning is done by their development initiatives for the coming four years so now because the relevant answer was the development initiatives only so it was correct for us to choose that answer as it is under the report secretariat okay so just quickly keep in mind that independent experts group stakeholders group and report secretariat are actually the stakeholders which are there in the report and finally the uh, development initiatives is the report secretariat for uh, for these two and ieg and stakeholder group members are not uh, important for you to remember because obviously they would be keep on ch changing because they are individuals rather than a particular organization so i hope you were able to understand this global nutrition report and its uh, structural uh, functioning so now let us move on to question number 2 okay so according to global nutrition report 2018 which of the following countries has the largest number of stunted children in the world so this is again a very important question as well as a very important finding of the report so what do you think which country has the largest number of stunted children is it nigeria the african nation pakistan yemen india or south korea you can just take a guess if you don't know the answer and our correct answer is option number 4 that is india so although that is not a very good fact to remember but that is true that a global nutrition report says that india has the maximum number of stunted children in the world so um, largest number of children around 46.6 million which is followed by the african nation nigeria so top 3 nations which have the uh, maximum malnutrition children are india nigeria and pakistan so uh, it is like almost a third of the global burden of stunting is with india and uh, let me just remind you that we have covered the world malaria report also and in that report also we had seen that the global burden of malarial uh, diseases was actually also in india so the dismal situation for india and disheartening for us but yes you have to keep this in mind that 31% of the global burden for stunting is in india and uh, not only stunting see the next point follows says that india also tops a li uh, list with the most number of wasted children so um, then again it is followed by nigeria so nigeria and india are actually topping the list of stunting and wasted children and see i have already discussed many times what is the difference between a stunting and uh, a stunted and wasted child uh, if you guys are able to recall it just let me know in the comment section below okay another important finding is that stunting and wasting of children in rural areas is more as compared to the urban areas so this is another important finding okay so question 3 district level stunting data shows that high level of stunting is prevalent in the northern and central india as compared to the southern india so this is itself important you have to keep this in mind through this question that in the northern and southern india the states which are there have high level of stunting as compared to the southern states so the question is which of the following factors account for the maximum differences between the high burden and the low burden districts so there are various factors which are associated to this uh, high burden of stunting you have to identify which of the following factors accounts maximum for the uh, difference in the high and low burden states so let us see what the options are is it antenatal care women's low bmi that is body mass index children's diet maternal education or open defecation so all these are actually the factors which are associated to the stunting of the children but uh, the 
factor which accounts maximum for this is you can think about it you can give a guess what do you think the answer could be and yes our answer is option 2 women's low body mass index so uh, actually the report has found that stunting the child is stunting so let me just tell you that stunting actually refers to the less height of the children as compared to the age so it um, varies actually greatly from district to district according to this report so and the data has already revealed we have seen that stunting is higher in the central and northern Indian states and less in the almost entire south. So there are various factors which are associated with it. Um, the factors are like maternal education, the age of the women at the time of marriage, then antenatal care, children's diet, open defecation. But the most important factor is the women's low body mass index. Obviously because a woman has a low body mass index she would not be able to keep a better in her pregnancy and the child she gives a birth would not be uh, healthy enough so um, it accounts for 19 percent of the uh, data under the stunting of the children and maternal education accounts for 12 percent so all the important uh, factors i've mentioned just go through them although the most important one for you is the women's low bmi which accounts for 19 percent of the stunted children and household size you see also matters for the five percent of the data so um, just keep in mind what are these factors and uh, yes that would be it okay so question number four is global nutrition report 2018 shows that the quality of nutrition in packaged foods available to children is not adequate what percent of uh, packaged food is healthy in india now through this question one another uh, finding you can see is that quality of nutrition in the packaged foods is not adequate for the children now packaged and the processed foods are being uh, uh, here in the question so the percentage of the packaged food which is considered healthy in India particularly is do you think it is 31 percent 35 55 27 or just 21 percent this is also an important question and you will be surprised to hear that the packaged food which is actually healthy in India available for the children and even for the adults is just 21% so option number 5 is the correct answer so GNR the global nutrition report for the year 2018 has revealed that only 21% of the packaged food is healthy and overall the global average is just 31% so India is even lacking behind of the global uh, global average and uh, the country which has topped in the healthy processed packaged food is New Zealand with just 37% so overall the finding is that the packaged food are not nutritious enough and not and thus are not healthy enough now another important fact which is associated with this I have just mentioned it here although it was not in the question that globally malnutrition is not only talking about the stunted or wasted child but also they are considering the overweight children or the obesity so uh, globally there are 38.3 million overweight children so you see that is again a very disheartening situation and let me tell you that india is leading even there because india is among the group of countries which have over a million overweight children so india china pakistan egypt all are all these are the countries which are uh, which are having the children above a million with overweight and uh, associated to the same fact is that uh, which is again important it can be asked in the question in some twisted way that the prevalence of overweight children is actually highest in the upper middle income countries and lowest in the low income countries let me just tell you that India is now in the low low income countries we are not in the upper middle income country we are trying to move to that but the children here are actually uh, more than million children are the overweight children so these overweight children are again related to the packaged and the processed food which is again unhealthy in India oh global all uh, globally overall so moving on to your final question okay now this is interesting again an important question which is directly not 
taken from the report but it is associated with the report so un decade of action on nutrition is being observed currently which of the following is this decade so since the report is related to the nutrition so the question is here so the decade of nutrition action on nutrition is uh, what do you think out of the following options 2011 to 20 12 to 21 then 16 to 25 18 to 27 or do you think that none of the above actually is the decade which is currently going on for the nutrition okay so our answer is option 3 to so 2016 to 25 is currently running the decade of action on the nutrition so on april 1 2016 there was this united nations general assembly they had decided to proclaim the decade right from 2016 till 25 as the un decade of action on the nutrition so uh, UN had invited actually uh, various governments to come together and support the implementation of the uh, this particular decade and uh, the vision you can say uh, a kind of objective or the aim of the decade is to provide an umbrella for all the nutrition champions to coordinate action so that they can come together various policies can be laid out and the uh, impact monitoring can also be done under this decade so yes we have done our five mcqs important ones and here are your correct answers tell your score if you knew the answers uh, let us know what was your score and if you did not know anyways you have the solutions now and these are important for your examination uh, do let us know how do you like this video okay so yes, that would be it from today's lecture, guys. I would recommend you all to go and visit our website, www.edutab.co.in. You'll be able to see all the various courses which are being offered by us on our website. And uh, in case of any query, you can just drop us a mail at the given ID, hello at the rate edutab.co.in, or uh, you can call us or WhatsApp us at this given number, 8146-207-241. And yes, that would be it. And uh, the link for the telegram channel is here if you want to download the pdf so that you can revise it later and um, yes that would be it if you like the video if like if you like the content which i really hope you would please do not forget to like subscribe and share so thank you and have a happy learning from the team edutap